Over the past few years, I've used so many different variable ND filters, cheap brands, expensive brands, famous brands, shady brands also. And if there's one important thing that I've learned, it's that almost every variable ND filter has some kind of color shift or color cast, whatever you wanna call it. But notice how I said almost every variable ND filter? Yeah. <laughs> So when Nisi contacted me and asked me to make a video on their new True Color Vario ND filter, I was a bit skeptical because, you know, I've heard it all before from other brands. Our ND filters don't have any color cast. Uh, sure. Well, let me just show you what actual beautiful colors look like. Here's a sequence that I shot with the Nisi True Color Vario ND 1 to 5 stops. And I only applied one of my LUTs and that's it. I didn't do the usual color cast correction that I have to do when editing footage shot with my Freewell ND filters, for example. Here we go. Look, I don't mind having to do color cast correction, but if you can avoid it, it makes everything a whole lot easier and it speeds up my workflow. And don't worry, I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison later in the video because I know that there was a lot going on in this sequence when it comes to color, maybe a bit too much to judge it properly. So watch until the end of the video. Also because there's a free giveaway, by the way. Yeah. But first, real quick, for all of you who don't know, why would you use an ND filter? Well, you use ND filters to adjust the exposure, to lower the exposure. So instead of having to increase the shutter speed or closing down the aperture, you can lower the exposure with an ND filter because it blocks out light. And that also means that on bright sunny days, you can shoot at wide apertures without overexposing. So you can get a really shallow depth of field, you know? That's why you use ND filters, super useful. And I know that some of you are thinking now, but that sequence was shot in the evening and at night. Why would you need an ND filter? Well, I use ND filters also in the evening and at night because my Sony a7S III has a dual base ISO, 640 and 12800. And what that means is that ISO 12800 is a lot cleaner than 6400, for example, and even 3200. So a lot of times when I'm shooting in the evening or at night and I need more light, when I get to ISO 3200, I make the jump to 12,800. I don't go for 6,400 or any of the in-betweens because I know that 12,800 will give me a cleaner image. But of course, it's a big jump when you only need 3,200 or 6,400. And that's why I use an ND filter then to lower the exposure when I make the jump to 12,800. Does it make sense? If it's not clear, just ask me in the comments and I'll try to explain it in another way. Oh, and you know, sometimes when I start shooting in the evening and then it gets darker when the evening progresses, I just start shooting at 12,800 and then I don't have to switch. And then I just use an ND filter in the beginning of the evening when it's still a bit brighter. And once it gets darker, I can... No, wait, lower, lower the expo... High... What's the opposite of lower the exposure? I, I don't know the word anymore. What the hell? You know what I mean. Anyway, ND filters are also useful at night. 100%. Wow, I'm just, I'm... Let's talk about the Nisi True Color Vario ND 1 to 5 stops, because that's why you're here, right? It comes in a case and you also get this nice protective pouch and a lens cap. The filter itself feels great and it also looks great, I think. Some people don't like the silvering, 
I don't mind, I like it. It's one to five stops and there are hard stops to avoid that ugly X pattern, you know, that you sometimes get when overturning an ND filter without hard stops. So that's really good. It's high quality nano coated glass. And then there's this thingy. I don't know what else to call it. I call it a thingy here. I don't know, is it, yeah, there, little thingy. <laughs> what it does, you can screw it in the filter here and then you can use it as some kind of lever to adjust the exposure very smoothly with your thumb. And I can definitely see me use it, you know, not for everything, but for example, when you're doing a push-in shot from the inside to the outside where it's very bright and you want to adjust the exposure with your ND filter while doing the push-in shot, well, this will work, yeah, definitely. I think it's really cool. It's not a gimmick, it's a thingy. <laughs> but of course, all of that is useless. Even the thingy is useless if the image doesn't look good. And Nisi claims that this filter will give you almost perfect color representation. And I think it's true. The colors look almost exactly the same with or without the filter. And that's really impressive. And the color is consistent from one to five stops. Until now, my favorite filter was this Freewell 1 to 5 stop variable ND, but when I put them side by side, then you see the difference, right? The Freewell clearly has this yellowishy color cast, the Nisi looks super natural. And you might say now, but isn't it super easy to adjust a yellow color cast by just adjusting the white balance? If it would be just a yellow warm color cast, then yeah. But I've noticed that usually it's not just warm or cool. It's maybe a little bit of warm and also a little bit of green. So then you have to adjust two sliders, tint and white balance, and it gets a bit more complicated. So, you know, having no color cast at all it makes a difference. I can say with confidence that this ND filter will now replace my Freewell ND filter. And I swear, I'm not just saying that because Nisi is sponsoring this video. Thank you, by the way. Thank you, Nisi. It's just really good. See, I even got a squeaky voice. It's that good. I wouldn't do the squeaky voice if I wouldn't be honest with you. <sighs> I'm truly impressed. I really am. And Nisi is building a whole range of true color products and filters. It seems really interesting to me. I'm looking forward to that. And also, by the way, they're also sending me their black mist filter. You all know that I love mist filters. So I'm also looking forward to trying that out. If you don't want to miss that video, make sure to subscribe. It'll probably be done next week, I think. Um, and yeah, now they're not super cheap. It's a good product, it's not super cheap. They start at, what was it? Starts at 119 bucks. Now, I think that's a fair price for what you get compared to other brands also. And if you don't have the money right now, well, Nisi was so kind to allow me to give one of their filters away for free to one of you. All you have to do, all you have to do is comment on this video and then a random comment picker will pick someone randomly. That's all you have to do. Now, don't make it like a boring, boring comment, you know? It's gonna be randomly picked, but for my sake, make it funny, make it interesting, you know? I read the comments, I really do. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you in the next one. Bye.